Welcome to our video showcasing 30 vintage candid photos of rock stars living in the iconic Laurel Canyon. Mama Cass never cleaned her house. Success ruined Laurel Canyon. David Crosby and Joni Mitchell met on Lookout Mountain Avenue. Rivalries formed faster than many friendships. What is the Laurel Canyon sound? Why Laurel Canyon? Everything started with the birds. Mama Cass routinely held picnics at her house. Jackson Brown lived in a basement beneath Glen Frey. Graham Nash wrote Our House in a Tiny Home in Laurel Canyon. Jim Morrison lived behind the Canyon Country Store. The first person Glenn Frey saw in Laurel Canyon was David Crosby. Everyone thinks they introduced Crosby. Stills Nash. Glenn Frey hosted poker games during Monday Night Football. Alice Cooper auditioned for Frank Zappa at 7. Um, early is on time for Alice Cooper. You could find everyone hanging at the Troubadour. John Lennon's Lost Weekend. Everyone loved partying with the monkeys. You never knew when Brian Wilson was going to show up. Captain Beefheart used his nose as a flute. Free love was definitely a thing in the canyon. The country store was where Laurel Canyon came together. Laurel Canyon was super cheap too. Glenn Frey felt that the canyon was magical. It was all about hanging with like-minded individuals. Don Henley treated the scene like rocks and roll school. Neil Young left the scene because he found it stifling. Laurel Canyon wasn't a place, it was a time. Thank you for joining us on this captivating exploration of interesting historical photos. We hope you enjoyed this journey through time and discovered fascinating insights into the past. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on more captivating content. Your support means the world to us.